Welcome to my channel, bro. Check out this video. You know what I'm saying? Like, just subscribe. Just subscribe to the channel. Go spiritually. You feel me? But, uh, you know what I'm saying? We back on this news. You feel me? We finna start going hard and reporting on a lot of stuff. But, so, as we all know, why Cell got locked up and the lyrics will be used in court. So, let me be let me be clear on this. I hope YSL stay locked up. Uh, I hope Young Thug never get out of jail. I hope he catch twenty plus, or at least 50, twenty plus minimum ten. And anybody else who oh shit, anybody else who support or not even support anybody else who who. Uh, who preaches negativity like him, drugs, lean, um, who promotes killing, black on black with crimes and stuff, lock them up. Never let them out of jail. We so They're not helping our people. And Thug, he got some good songs, obviously. I've been listening to Thug since Lifestyle. Now, I ain't gonna sit here and be like, I've always been listening to Thug. I haven't always been listening to Thug, but he's been around my music here since like 2015, bro. Honestly, well, he got some good songs, but he's a he's a snake to our community. So, as this post says, the use of lyrics as evidence in criminal cases is a threat to our freedom of expression. Storytelling is a vital part of the art and should not be used against who, those who create it. And they got the this nigga, they got whoever tweeted this. They got the audacity to say, sign the black, the protect black art petition and join the fight for artistic freedom. Now, this is a joke. Protect black art, nigga. You ain't even protecting black people. You saying protect black art, but you not even protecting black people. You, you're allowing. You're the label. OK, whoever uh, tweeted this, they allow within their label of YSL to speak negatively about black people flexing money trapping trapping hoes they talk about trapping you know what trapping does selling drugs illegally killing people slowly um they be doing this down there with females where they preaching non-lawyer relationships um they ain't talking about killing and sliming people out what is that killing so what you mean protect black art who trying to protect? Uh, who trying to protect music that promotes the killing of our race? The fact that they had the audacity to put that, and then the fact that niggas will actually go sign that, is crazy to me. How you going, bro? How, how was you gonna sit here and tell us to protect music that promotes our race killing each other? And we wonder why we don't ever got no money. We wonder why we always going to jail. We wonder why we always dying. Now, peep game. We could blame white people for a lot of that stuff. Because white people invaded our planet. We was all peaceful at a point. But then again, look what they did. They flipped the script and this time they invaded our planet. Whatever. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Now look what happened. We are literally... We are literally, our race is declining because of us now. Not going against the system. Being zombies, being asleep, promoting music like this. You feel me? We becoming our enemy as well. Because we got to take accountability. We ain't, do, our people as a whole is not doing much to get ourselves out of this slump we in. We got to slave every day. We literally, we got to pay to eat. Um, they hide our history, they hide our truth, they hide our knowledge. You feel me? They do all this, that, and the third. So, we gotta actually look at ourselves as, like, we gotta, are they doing all this to us? They suppressing us, giving us poison food, or this, that, and third. And we not rebelling. We used to rebel, but we ain't doing nothing right now. I and mean, we kinda is right now in an awakening shift, but as a mass, that's a percentage of us, but as a mass race, it's a lot of people that's not doing much, so it's like, who can we blame? We got to blame ourselves because of that, but also blame the rappers because their music is telling us what to do. Remember, music is spell casting. It influences you if you're not aware of actions. Think about how many gangsters 
So you think about how many people done sh wanted to be a gangster and then shot and then did, did all type of gang banging because of Lil Dirk music or Young Thug music. Feel me? Like I said, it's good to listen to, but you know what I'm saying? Is you really starting to do dumb shit? A lot of people has. A lot of people been influenced by this. And if you look up the statistics, the Atlanta crime rate decreased ever since YSL and YSN Lucci got locked up. So keep all them locked up and our communities need to grow. We need to come together as black people. Far for our community and our community only because we need help. We don't have no money. We all broke. We all impoverished. However you said a word, we all are going through stuff. No money, broke. You know what I'm saying? We're on the bottom of the food chain. And that's a problem. So, these rappers ain't telling us how to get out of this. They tell you, go, uh, go kill your op. That's what they tell you. Protect black art. Young thugs, stay rapping about lean. For everybody in their label, always rapping about lean. Drugs. Having intercourse with a lot of females. You feel me? Living their life with thotties. And never want to start a black family. Loyal, healthy black family. They don't talk about none of that. You feel me? They talk about killing each other. They're messing up our race. And they got the audacity to say, protect black art. This ain't black art. This is actually colonized art. Because this is not our original thinking. The motherfuckers that got us thinking that is the oppressors. And oppressors are originally who? We Europeans and in that race, you know what I'm saying? Caucasoid entities. So, honestly, I would say Caucasoid art is what you should call it. That's not our art. That's not our way of thinking. It's not our way of life. So, honestly, what I want to say is this is a joke. I don't agree with this. Talking about some protect black art. You need to protect your people first. I don't know how many murders YSL participated in this influence, but honestly, bro, that's all I want to say. If you like this video, like, share, subscribe, you know what I'm saying, girl, spiritually. Keep YSL locked up. Keep the, and you already know the business.